Hello and welcome back to part 8, I, I think, uh, of my series where I try to implement Pong with the Baby Game Engine. And um, it's been a long time, it's been two months, but I just didn't get around to uh, making a new episode. But today I'm feeling like doing the next one and um, right away we are going to have to update to Bevy version 0 0.4 which is I guess the the third version transition uh, transition we've done so far or maybe it was the second one I'm not sure but uh, we'll see added flexibility in the ECS simplified query filters I may be the things we've already done will just continue working as they are not sure uh, one thing that i've noticed is there is a new macro for a um, platform or for a cross-platform main method that might might be interesting i'm not sure where it was though i i thought i saw it somewhere trade reflection 3d texture assets logging and profiling Built-in logging. Oh, so we, you can probably use yeah. Tracing crate. I'm not sure if tracing is actually compatible with the regular um, logging crate, but we'll see if we even try to to have it work. Oh, there's Apple Silicon support. That's nice to know. I'm gonna have to try that out since I actually have a like the the lowest um, spec model Mac Mini for of the M1 models just for f for experimenting. I really thought there was something about the new main method. Like, let's take a look here. Cross-platform main function. That's where it is. So there's a bevy main macro. And it does special setup for different platforms. I mean, let's first just update um, everything using cargo update. And let's take a look at our cargo.toml file. Oh, there's, there's only Bevy in there. <laughs> um, update that to 0 0.4. Maybe cargo update again. Looks okay. Compa the only E won't let me click the button. <laughs> Interesting. Um, compile it again. Will take some time. kind of curious how many uh, dependencies we actually have. There's even something that's, that wasn't committed from last time. <laughs> so the sprite components are not there anymore. Yeah, I think they might have been renamed. Let's take a look. Maybe there's more information in the release notes. Um, Community GitHub releases. Nope, not here. Change log. Changed. There is a lot, and there's nothing about how to migrate this. So we're probably going to have to look at the docs.rs documentation. By the way, I have added the. Um, the fonts now. It was just a matter of, I think, just adding the license file of the open font license. And that's it. Um, yeah, sprite components. It cannot be found, so let's take a look. Right, 
Sprite Sheet Bundle. What is a Sprite Bundle? What is a Sprite Sheet Bundle? Mesh Material, Main Pass, Render Pipeline, Transform, Global Transform. Maybe that's what we're looking for. Heavy Prelude. But where does it come from? Sprite Entity, Sprite Bundle. Sprite Entity, Sprite Components. That, that looks very similar. So let's try that. Like that. And... Let's rename it to Sprite Bundle. This has worked so far. Let's just guide ourselves using the compiler error messages. Actually, um, since the, yes, the, the last video, um, there have been some improvements in the IntelliJ Rust plugin. So now um, I can just see the compiler errors right here without having to parse manually, manually parse through the um, output of the compiler. Maybe I, can, I should just search for sprite components. Maybe even replace it. Replace and files. Maybe like this. Replace all. That might just work. Let's see. Same for text components. I guess there's a text bundle now. And there is UI entity text bundle. Um, control shift R. Control shift R instead of Control Shift F. That makes sense. F for find, R for replace. Oh, it's only one. I mean, it makes sense because um, I remember one of the last in in one of the last videos I try to understand um, what a bundle was and it looked a lot like what was called components. Um, so it's it's just more consistent right now because the text components is now te called text bundle because that's just what it is, a bundle from my understanding. Same for the camera 2D components I guess. Where's the import for that? No, I'm. Oh, it's probably from the pre prelude. Should I keep the prelude? I'm not sure. I'm I'm kind of torn when it comes to preludes. They are useful, but I also really like to see what's actually imported. My camera. Huh. Camera UI bundle. I think. Okay, so this is not a proper system anymore and there oh and the window descriptor has floating point numbers does it oh 
That's interesting. I'm not sure why, because it doesn't really make sense to have floating point numbers for your window width and height. But on the other hand, it, it probably makes calculations um, with other fields and, and other components easier, I guess. And maybe if they are their own components, I'm not sure. Also, um, a 32-bit float, I, I'm not sure how many bits there are in there. Um, 32-bit floating point. Let's just do a, a little side, tr let's, let's get a little sidetracked signal precision floating point. There's a 1-bit sign bit, 8 bits of component and 24 bits of precision where one is not stored because um, you, you don't store the leading one and the zero is somehow represented in the exponent bits in, in special ways. Yeah, a, a, an all zero exponent is actually zero, I guess. I'm not sure. In any case, 24 bits, that is 24 to the power of two. Uh, oh, it's it's the wrong way around. Two to the power of 24. <laughs> I'm just stupid. So as long as you don't get resolutions that are ridiculously large, this should be totally okay, I guess. I mean, who wouldn't like a 16 million by something uh, screen resolution, right? So it should be fine. So this is now a floating point literal. And yeah. Field delta seconds of struct time is private. Oh, so let's take a look at time. Bevy core time. Okay, so delta seconds has now switched to being a method instead of being accessible directly. I'm sad not to see the 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 usual source link here. Oh, there there's some for the implementations here. Hmm. I don't quite get it, but um, yeah, let's just make this a function call or method call rather a method named x found for very prelude vec2 oh so now now x and y on the vec are not methods anymore but <laughs> um, but the thing we just changed, the delta seconds, is now a method. So something, some things have turned into methods and some things have turned into fields directly. That's interesting. Also, this means we don't need x mute anymore. We can just use it directly, I guess. Also, no dereferencing required. So just the, the regular refactoring churn here. Nothing really bad, I guess. But also, I'm I'm not using a lot of the of Bevy's features. I'm I'm not doing any 3D stuff. I'm very. I'm I'm limiting myself to to the basics of the basics. And I'm also not a game developer, so yeah. So now there's no system method, which means that setup cannot be transform to a system anymore. That is 
this. Let's see what we can do about that. App Startup System just takes a system without input or output. I'm not sure if systems had the in and out type previously. I'm not quite sure actually. Where are these used? Run unsafe, run thread local, run with input word and output. But the problem right now is just that system itself, the um, trade method, is not found. Let's take a look where that is coming from. Right here. Nope, not that. Chain system. Resource index. Run once into system system. That that looks more like it. Into system system returning system type. Okay, implementers. If I mute mute word and resources. Input output, but we we can't do that because uh, the the setup system requires it to be. Um, empty tuples as input and output. This is kind of horrible to read. Oh my god. <laughs> Are there any methods on this trait? Yes, this one. System type. What is system type? Maybe let's take a look at some of the examples again. Maybe they have changed in, in some way. Also the change log. System inputs, outputs and chaining. system now takes a generic into system type instead of a box system oh so one less layer of indirection no trade object anymore associated types oh interesting Not only these can be added to a schedule. Schedules don't know how to populate inputs, nor do they know what to do with outputs. Okay, but our setup system is not returning anything. The question is, is any of that... Hmm. Okay, let's take a look at the examples. Um, here. Also make sure we're actually on the correct tag. Don't make the same mistake again. <laughs> the bare minimum. Diagnostics, entity component system. In oh no, that's another kind of input. Oh, that wasn't helpful. So, hello world. Custom loop. Custom 
custom plugin groups. ECS guide. Startup system. Yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. Add startup system. How do we get access to the commands? So we have app.build. That's not helpful. Where's the main? Add resource, add resource, plug in, init resource, add startup system. They do have commands in here. Oh, okay. server we don't need to borrow anymore because it's already borrowed let's see that looks more like it seems like it's compiling again and this is just for, uh, left over from last time we haven't used that yet and so let's run it and seems like it's still running, working fine. Paddles are moving, bouncing around. The score is not where it's supposed to be, but at least it's there. And yeah, that seems like a state that we can actually commit. So the cargo.lock and Tommel. Then the renamed bundle stuff, the time delta seconds. Oh, let's go to the punk view, that's easier. Stage this one, we want that. We only want these two lines and this line there. I don't want to commit this one. Update to bevy 0 0.4. Right. Now let's continue. Um, spawn the scoreboard. We spawn a text bundle with alignment, the actual text, so how did we, did we, oh okay, so, hmm, Right bundle default with goal component and player. And the sprite bundle can be used for collision later if we want to bump the score when a goal has been goal has been hit. Then there's the top and bottom walls. They all have an update after window resize. Maybe we just want to do that as well. I mean, we need to position it somehow. 
the text bundle has node style draw visible text calculated size a transform and global transform translation rotation scale in case of the paddles we use the translation okay but wouldn't the translation be zero zero so x is zero why is pedal speed the ball starts in the middle of the screen sprite bundle default um Where's the default implementation for that? Self identity. What? Oh, okay. It's all zeros. So maybe the middle of the screen is all zeros. Although we would have to take a look at the balls update of the window resides. and translation translation is okay so actually in the middle of the screen so this is how it works um, the scoreboard therefore but why if the default translation is in the middle of the screen why why then is the board over here I'm not quite sure I understand let's play around with it a little bit um, where was the so there is a transform in here right the transform was something with a translation Transform, transform, so as a translation I wa want VEC3, new, let's say 100, 100, And zero because we don't have any depth information. Let's take a look. Oh, it's it's supposed to be zero dot zero. Didn't change anything whatsoever. Maybe there's an example for text. Texture Atlas is not what I'm looking for. But is there any in, in the in the right example? Let's see. How did I do I run the examples again? Cargo run dash dash features don't need features minus minus example. Cargo run minus minus first let's pull. Cargo run minus minus example and then we want break out mm. 
In the meantime, we can take a look at the code. There's a text. Oh, there's a position inside of the style. So compiling. There is definitely a score here. <laughs> Why is it not punishing me for not hitting the ball? Interesting. So it's in the top left corner. Five pixels, five pixels, top left. Um, text bundle. Style. So there's a position type and a position. Relative or absolute. What's the default value? Default. Why can't I click at the source code for that? I'm really confused. Take a look. Um, relative is the default value. Let's just do it like this. Stop complaining. Oh, the, the comma is, is not supposed to be there. And then we have the actual position, which is a rect. Is it a math rect or a sprite rect? It's a math rect. Although maybe it's the same, I'm not sure. Oh, so just a simple way T reflect. So what is the type that I want? Style has a rect of val. What is val? Oh. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> Pixels percent undefined or auto. did they do in the example? Um, they filled it up with default. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to have default values inside of the rect. But does it know? 
No, it does not now. Let's say 50%, like this. Maybe that works. And from the top, we want pixels. Let's say 10. And then we want to fill it up with default values. Remove the comma here. Like this. And let's see what happens. Now it's uh, in the center. Hmm. Also, it doesn't center itself on, on the middle of itself. It centers on the left edge or the left corner. But I guess I can remove the transform because now I, now I know for, cer for certain that the style is what I'm, I'm looking for. Not the text style, the style and position. What about absolute? What does this change? Oh. Oh. Hmm. Let's see. I mean, how does this behave? Oh. This is nice. Is this possible for sprites as well? Because the, the relative positioning just scales without me having to do anything. Size mode. No idea. No, it's not possible with sprites, sadly. Maybe I'm just doing things wrong. Maybe sprite is not what I'm looking for. But yeah, I mean, 50% absolute should be correct. use percent for the top just to try it out and to to check my mental model of of what it does oh okay so it works like I wanted to so how thick is the wall at the top it's 20 so maybe we want our scoreboard at a position of twice the wall thickness. Does that work? I mean, if we make it public, it might actually work. <laughs> and what was the type of that? F32. So this needs to be a 2.0. Okay, so now we just need to make sure that it's centered properly. Align self center, align item center. I think it's still part of the style. The 
display wet <laughs> I have no idea flex or none what At this point, I'm just trying stuff out. And we also kind of need a, a minimum size for the window, otherwise this just won't work. <clears throat> Actually calling your enum variant none is kind of bad in that it conflicts with option none if you if you do something like uh, in this case use display colon colon asterisk and you want to use none uh, for actual options wait what then um you have to write option colon colon none explicitly. Oh. Oh. This did something. Not sure what it did, but it did something. <laughs> Let's just uh, return to the default. So we have a position type, which was relative and absolute. We wanted the absolute variant direction inherit left to right or right to left I guess we can just leave it as is flex direction row column row reverse column reverse no idea align items flex start flex end center baseline stretch can at least align self, align content and justify content. Align self, align content and justify margin, padding, border, flex grow, flex, shri flex shrink, aspect ratio, yeah. Justify content. Let's see. <laughs> Now I'm just guessing. I'm trying stuff out. Or is there an, any example that might help us? Reflection. Oh, reflection is just... Um, Runtime reflection, not something like ray, ray reflection or what the ball does on walls and stuff like that. Scene, shaders, tools, bevy mark, UI. UI might be interesting. So let's take a look. Example button. This takes quite a long time. Okay. I mean, the button seems to be centered. At least the, the text on the button seems to be centered. So let's take a look at the button. Bundle. 
Let's just comment these out for now. Nope, nothing useful there. But maybe if we take a look at how the button itself works, just if I horizo horizontally center child text. I mean, I mean, we do not know how wide we actually are. If a margin with children. Okay, now we are getting a tree. Parent dot spawn text bundle. So maybe if we create a rectangle. Let's, let's let's take a look at the other examples. Maybe <laughs> I should have looked at the text example from the start or from the get go. This is text with line breaks in the top left, line breaks, and also a set width in the bottom left. Very long, limited width, centered, position in the top right, and is also colored pink. But nothing centered here. Let's take a look at the text example. Nope, not quite. UI I think our best candidate would be the um, text debug example but we'll also take a look at the text example Let's just run it again, just to know what we need to look for. text alignment flex end absolute position type with the bottom being five pixels from the bottom and the left being 15 pixels from the left flex end Not sure what that means then we have bottom right, also flex end, alignment default, top right, also flex end, what does this mean? The height is not defined. The width is fixed, so this can change, I guess. Hmm. Oh, so this is the max maximum size. Also flex end. 
Let's take a, uh, the Align Self again. Auto, Flex, Start, Flex, End, Center, Baseline, Stretch. <clears throat> Let's just try them out. Auto first. That maybe I'm already breaking stuff because of the position that I'm given it, giving it. Now it's gone. Doesn't seem like this is doing anything. So what is the default value of that auto? It's just I mean what would help it would be some documentation on the actual values here let's take a look at the button implementation button. Great. <laughs> um. so, so how does the button work? Bundle. Button bundle. We have a node. The button is just empty. A style interaction focus policy mesh material draw visible mesh. a size a margin center the button is there a margin that I can set on the scoreboard where was I margin wrecked all auto So 
This is used to center it on the screen, supposedly. Vertically center, uh, center child text. Horizontally center child text. Center the button. Hmm. How is it getting centered in here? Let's just do it exactly like they do it. Like everything. So let's say um, size is just copy and paste that just noticed the one phrase that I'm repeating over and over again is let's just <laughs> it's all just 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 I was really hoping that I could um, actually calculate and display a score in this episode. Oh! Let's change something. But is it actually centered? I mean, what? I'm not sure if it is centered because... I would have thought that this is in the middle. Like, let's let's make a screenshot. Let's see. Can I draw a line somehow? Whatever. Inkscape. <laughs> like this. I can draw a line. I mean, that's not how it's supposed to work, but hey. Oh, there's no chance that I get those lines again. <laughs> oh. Can I click this, these lines again like this? Oh, yeah. Let's make them a different color and a lot thicker. Maybe two. I mean, this has nothing to do with Bevy anymore. Like this. Oh, I didn't want to rotate it. What? Never done that before. What? <laughs> Um, whatever. Let's make sure that the endpoints are actually... at the borders of that screenshot. And as you can see... It's not actually centered. So why is that? Huh? 
horizontally centered child text. Hmm. I have no idea what I'm doing, as you can imagine. Still not centered. But maybe the width is the problem. Let's just remove that for now. hundred percent and the height is yeah let's let's leave it at like 50 pixels I mean then it should be centered right it's not But we haven't changed the um, position type to relative. Actually, it wasn't rel uh, relative, it was absolute. This looks better. Maybe the width wasn't large enough. Now it's, I think now it's actually centered. Now I'm curious what that does. will help no it does not so maybe this oh no it's it's always kind of frustrating if you kind of get your desired end result but you have no idea why. wasn't necessary, was it? Seems like it wasn't.
So what is actually centering this? Let's remove the margin. Maybe the margin is, oh yeah, the margin is probably making sure that the distance between the edge of the frame is correct. So the size might not actually matter, does it? does so how do we create our own rect oh yeah right rect was just a like this um, a struct top two times one thickness Let's see. What? Some fields are missing. How? I have. doing the same mistake over and over again and the compiler even helpfully tells me what I'm doing wrong. That's nice. Compiler says you may want to try to remove this comma. That absolutely did absolutely did not what I wanted it to do. Maybe it's because the other margins are not auto. Aren't the default margins auto? No, I guess they weren't. Top val auto. Top bottom left right. All auto. This should be the same as originally. With the rect all auto. Okay, so this at least has the desired effect. So let's replace this with our custom margin, top margin. Oh, now it's exactly how I want it to be. So what you are doing with the margin rect is you, const you, you can choose to constrain the margins to the outer, um, or probably the parent, maybe the window is the parent for that element, and you can force it to be like that. So if the, let's say the left margin would be percent uh, 30 dot zero, then it should be on the top left, but not all the way to the left, but 30% from the left. If my mental model is correct. And yeah, seems like it. And also the, the edge is what is at 30%. It's not the middle part, I guess, or is it? Yeah, the edge, it, it has to be. So if I put in 0% here, it should be touching the left border of the, of the window, not, not, our, um, not our wall. Or how did I call it? Goal or something like that. Yeah, exactly. So I 
kind of understand how it works now, I guess. Um, so what we can do is we can fill it up with wrecked all the auto like this without the comma and that should have the desired effect. Also, what is it complaining about here? Probably, oh, I have specified everything manually so far. That's what it's complaining about. I mean, I can remove it. Although having it there would be force compatible. So maybe, yeah, whatever, I'll see. Yeah, that, that looks great. It doesn't do anything yet, but at least it looks great. Seems like there will be more than 10 total parts to, to actually get a working game. Parts of the video series, I mean. Um, since I've been recording for over, over an hour again, I guess that's where I will stop. Let's make a commit. Um, also, let's yeah, let's let's before I stop the video, remove all the compiler warnings because of un imp uh, unused imports and stuff like that. All of them are unused. Display justify content position type. And we're gonna leave that in, just won't commit it. Okay, so we use the wall. What did I do? Didn't want that. Let's do it again. This line, this line, this line, these. Thickness is now public and we commit it. Um, properly con position the scoreboard text at the top center. Like that. Okay, so um, as I already said, sadly no working scoreboard yet, but at least it's positioned correctly and we've also updated to Bevy 0.4. I cannot make any promises about when the next um, part will come out, but um, at some point I will make the next video. So thanks for watching and maybe see you later.